recently Nancy Grace made press on this show in particular because of the crazy things she said about the effect <laughs> pot has on people that'll cause you to just kill whole families. Now thankfully, uh, someone at worldstarhiphop.com put together an interesting little uh, debate between two people, Nancy Grace and Nancy Grace, where she, she might contradict herself a little bit. Let's watch. The judge allows in evidence that Trayvon Martin did have marijuana in his system at the time he died. What difference, if any, does that make? It's because I've seen too many felonies, and I don't mean pot sales or growing pot like this guy up in Connecticut. To me, it means that he is less likely to pick a fight with someone. I mean, people on pot shoot each other. Isn't it true that when you smoke pot, you just want to lay on the sofa and eat? People on pot kill families, wipe out a whole family. The common uh, connotation pot goes with lethargy, with uh, the munchies, with wanting to eat, with being laid back, not with chasing somebody down, jumping out from behind bushes, beating them in the head till, till they're pulpy, and, and, and basically starting mortal combat. That's not what you typically equate with smoking a doobie. I've got to be drinking booze, or I've got to be smoking, or I've got to be high on pot. I have to say, I think that Nancy Grace made much better points than Nancy Grace in that video. I like the blue Nancy Grace better than the red Nancy Grace. Yeah, hey. red Nancy Grace is a mean Nancy Grace. Well, I think we got to go to the science. You know, mm -hmm. and the science says that too much eyeliner makes you contradict yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Publicly. Nice. Not it's obvious yeah. that from that clip you can see how that will affect you. It seeps into your brain yeah. where you're supposed to pick up uh, contradictions and hypocrisies. Uh, and it totally just covers over that so you don't even know what you're saying after. Now that's what's wrong with Nancy so Grace. I don't watch Nancy Grace. Is that the way she usually speaks? She's she seems yeah. drunk, no? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, there's a chance. There's okay. a chance. So uh, I like that video. Uh, first of all, I want to give just a tiny bit of credit to Nancy Grace because Which one? the blue or the red? The blue, the, the good, the, the, good yeah, the one who hasn't fallen to the dark side yet. Okay. Uh, Nancy Grace apparently at the time during the Zimmerman uh, Trayvon Martin trial is apparently to some extent defending Trayvon Martin, I guess, at least in her interpretation of the effect of pot on the body then. Um, I don't know what changed between then and now. I don't know why she's become so, I guess, hyperbolic when it comes to it. But, the, but the, 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 the point is, whether she was right in the past or, the, or was right now is what matters. The hypocrisy is not the fundamental problem. The problem is that we know what effect pot has on the body. We know when we compare pot to the effect alcohol has and other substances like that, it's ridiculous that people should be going to jail because of it. Now, you brought up before the show that Chris Matthews had a ridiculous panel of so supposed experts. So, he had, so there's this one Kennedy, uh, the guy who was the senator from Rhode Island who was a drug addict, mm -hmm. and uh, so he He's coming out, he's against the legalization of pot, he's against medical marijuana, and his whole thing is, you know, I was an addict, you know, and I know the effects these things have, and marijuana could be a gateway for someone like me. So basically what he's doing, first of all, he's wrong about everything, <laughs> and it's the classic case, right, of the drunkest guy at the party who gets sober and now wants to come back and tell everybody else to stop doing that shit. You can't smoke pot. You mean you were the guy who threw up on my mom's couch and then pissed? in the kitchen, and now you're gonna tell me I can't smoke pot? That's who that Kennedy is. Yeah. The biggest fuck up on the Eastern Seaboard is gonna tell me now that I can't take pot for my back pain. That's yeah. the guy. So, and, and, and Chris Matthews, the same thing. He's like, I, th I, I do, I think it's a gateway. And you're making the point that Chris Matthews has gotta have at least 15 to 20,000 producers <laughs> around him, and somebody could Google yeah. the effects of marijuana and the science on it, yeah. and you know what? They have done it. Mm -hmm. And he he's just like Fox News, Chris Matthews is that he is he is entertaining an audience and he's always conscious of who's watching him so he thinks his audience is center right he said it before that's who he thinks his audience is so when it comes to a pot issue what does my audience want to hear and I'm gonna give them what they want to hear because Chris Matthews is not a newsman yeah. he's just a fucking pablum pusher he doesn't he doesn't have a real point of view whatever you want his point of view to be that's what it is yeah. isn't pot kind of a generational issue at this point I mean, well, I think that's the problem. Yeah, I think young yeah, like, people. Yeah, like from Willie Nelson down, we're all for it. <laughs> it's the people of <laughs> Willie Nelson and older. So I yeah. guess that would be Chris Matthews and that dickhead Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> but even most of the uh, younger people who are Republican or lean right, are they crazy anti-pot people or are they like, come on, man, pot's pot. 
Yeah. No, there's a lot of still internalized. People have internalized the culture. I, you know, I, uh, I have a niece when I had that conversation with about, uh, you know, she smoked pot and she has kids now, and, and she's like, well, I'm not going to smoke in front of my kids. But I'm like, but you drink in front of your kids. She's like, yeah, but I'm like, well, drinking is the thing that will fuck up their life. Nobody's yes. going to smoke pot and smash their car. You know what I mean? Nobody. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So, Whereas right now, someone is. Having an accident because of a DWI. How many thousands right of people yeah. are killed every year from yeah. drunk driving? They're about yeah. thirty, between thirty and fifty thousand every year. Yeah. Um, in car accidents, mm -hmm. and half of those can be yeah. attributed to alcohol. Yep. Right. Um, but uh, you guys made great points that I'd like Thank to combine. You. When you were when you were uh, <laughs> when you were talking about the generational problem mm -hmm. and about Chris Matthews not, at least in this case, not being a newsman. I like Chris Matthews sometimes, but not not in general. Um, you need to have a position, and your position should be that the truth matters, I think. Yes. And it, it, it's, 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 it's not debatable that the reason that they're not willing to come out and tell the truth to their audience now is because they're afraid that their audience, and cable news audiences tend to be old as hell, will not watch that stuff. Well, look, if I was in Chris Matthews' position, I would tell the truth, and perhaps my audience would become much smaller, and perhaps the company would lose a lot of money, perhaps the company would shut down, but I would rather tell the truth to one friend in my living room than lie night after night to the entire fucking country. <laughs> yes. But maybe I'm just not used to four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars a year salaries. Well, Chris Matthews gets five million dollars a year, by the Does way. Does he really? Five million dollars a year. Well, okay, for, for five million. You would lie. Uh, I mean. I would lie for five million. <laughs> it's just pot. I would like for five million, it's not drones, and I wouldn't what? get mad if a guy like me called me out for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd console yourself with five million dollars. I definitely would. Yeah. Poof, boy, my integrity.